good morning my dear students and welcome to class 1 history in the previous class we had learned about the different causes of renaissance renaissance the principles of renaissance and the beginning of renaissance today we are going to deal with the next topic that is the impact of renaissance what was the impact what was the influence of renaissance impact of renaissance there are five of them to be learned the first one is art second is painting third is sculpture sculpture the fourth is literature fourth is literature the last one is sir. science these are the headings that we need to understand in today's class the impact of a renaissance so let's start with art the beginning of renaissance was a rebirth of art which means the through their paintings through their sculptures they began to propagate the religion which means the people used their painting sculptures to propagate or to spread their religion and earlier before the renaissance there were restrictions on the colors that were to be used by the painters but the painters now began to use the oil colors wood cuts and the frescoes for the wall papers wall pictures and they studied the optics geometry human anatomy and the mechanism underlying the gestures and expressions and they made use of that those that particular knowledge in their art which means studying the optics studying the geometry they made use of that particular knowledge in their painting because they sort of made the term called the impact of a renaissance in art which means before the renaissance there were restrictions on the use of colors what type of colors to be used but with the birth of renaissance or with the emergence of renaissance people began to use the painters began to use the oil colors wood cuts and the frescoes for the wall pictures and they also studied optics geometry human anatomy and they used their knowledge in their art second is with regard to the painting painting had kept high standards and because of the high standards they had produced very brilliant paintings and they used the painting to express or uh, they made made use of the painting to express their talent without any restrictions by the church till then the church had kept restrictions or if upon even the paintings but now they began to use that their talent without any restrictions by the church and their paintings had humanistic secular approach highly artistic and life like paintings and one of the important person to be learned is leonardo da vinci leonardo da vinci is an important painter to be learned he was a great painter sculptor musician and a scientist studied nature anatomy architecture mechanics and physics and he used he said that science and art must be complementary these are not two different things opposing things these are complementary things and he began filling the notebooks on the themes like painting architecture mechanics and human anatomy which means he began to write is began to write various themes on these topics painting architecture mechanics and human anatomy and what are his famous works the virgin of the rocks the last supper and the famous mona lisa these are the these are the important works of leonardo da vinci now moving on to the next one that is the sculpture okay
but a person to be learned here it is dawn of the lord he had a bronze statue of david triumphant right it means a victorious over the body of slain goliath so means he had created a bronze statue of david the character of the bible triumphant victorious over the body of goliath second one is lorenzo ghiberti he took 20 years to make two pairs of bronze doors for the baptistery at florence lorenzo ghiberti took 20 years to make two pairs of bronze doors for what for the baptistery at florence let's hear to michael angelo okay Lorenzo second one is the Lorenzo and third one is a third one is a Michelangelo his famous work is Pietà that portrays mother Mary in a seated posture carrying the body of Jesus across her chest next one huge statues of david in florence and the statue of moses pietà is an important is an outstanding work of michelangelo besides pietà we have he has created high statues of david and moses and in italy the sculptures were used by the pope and the rich merchants to decorate the churches and palaces and these Sculptures of Italy were invited to England, France, and Spain. So these are three people that you need to remember this particular topic of a sculpture. Now moving on to the next one, that is the literature. The people began to use the local languages instead of Latin, and there was change in the themes used in the literature. Earlier, they used the spiritual themes. related to heaven in their literature but now the people began to use the themes of human beings and his problems and they began to bring out the concept of humanism earlier it was spiritual theme now they began to focus on human beings and his or her problems and italy were the main people the first one is machiavelli Machiavelli he was a political writer his famous work is the prince second is dante his famous work is his famous work is the divine comedy divine comedy and it's a poem on the state of the soul and it is it portrays the religious and social life of the day so dante the divine comedy Next one is Petrarch. He was a scholar and writer, and is considered the father as the father of humanism. Petrarch is the scholar, was a scholar and writer, and he is considered as the father of a humanism. And again, we have got Aristo, Tasso, and Boccaccio, important writers. And Boccaccio has written. has written in prose or in the poem style in the prose and he has got a he has written his famous work is a decameron that contains 100 famous short stories okay so these are the people that you need to remember machiavelli dante petrarch and boccaccio as he used to write in prose and decameron is his important work that contains 100 short stories and in england So, so we are dealing with the literature that is in Italy. Now, coming to England, who are the main people in England? We have Geoffrey Chaucer. He is the one who brought the Renaissance literature in England, and is considered as the father of English poetry. And his famous book is the Canterbury Tales. Jo- Geoffrey Chaucer. Now, so this Thomas More, his famous book is Utopia. This particular book explains an imaginary world, imaginary island in America, where the rich people 
did not exploit the poor people an imaginary island in america where the rich people did not exploit the poor they had no blind faith and there was no war famous book called the utopia then you have francis bacon famous essay writer ben johnson and malbray dramatist milton the famous book is paradise lost edmund spencer ferrere queen these are the names that you need to remember and the famous person that is william shakespeare english poet player writer actor is considered as the considered as england's national poet and bard of avon he has written 38 plays 154 sonnets two long narrative poems and his famous works you know as you like it hamlet king lear othello these are the important works written by this particular great man and his works depicts the culture history and his works appeal to human emotions and thoughts so it has got a universal appeal because his works appeal to emotions and thoughts that's the reason his works have got a universal appeal that is related to literature come to last topic is with regard to the science what happened or what was impact of renaissance in the field of science it was the beginning of modern science and all views on science were based on observation experimentation there are four important things one is inquiry questioning observation and experimentation now it was based on these four elements inquiry questioning observation and experimentation and the first person that you are going to learn is about nicolas copernicus mathematician and astronomer mathematician astronomer and he said sun rather than the earth at the center of universe sun rather than the earth at the center of universe his famous book is him on the revolutions of the celestial spheres important book written by him and he had a heliocentric theory and what does it contain no one center of all celestial celestial circles or spheres second center of the earth not the center of universe but because of gravity and lunar sphere sun at the center of universe earth the earth has more than one motion one is to turn on its axis and move around or move in spherical orbit around the sun so these are the things that are included in this heliocentric theory there is no one center of all celestial circles or spheres center of the earth and not the center of the universe but because of the gravity and lunar sphere sun as the center of the universe earth has got more than one motion one is to turn on its axis second move in spherical orbit around the sun next we have got john kepler he said earth and the other planets move around the sun not in circle but in elliptical orbits galileo discovered telescope Isaac Newton brought out the concept the law of gravitation and there were discoveries in the field of medical sciences also with the impact of renaissance there were discoveries made in the field of medical science and the first person Vesalius he has written treatise on anatomy William Harvey said circulation of blood from heart to all the parts of body and back paris paris lewis 
Paracelsus said there is a close connection contact between medicine and chemistry Corder said he prepared ether from alcohol and sulfuric acid Helmont discovered carbon dioxide and Arabs Arab people gave the contribution of algebra and numerals Desargues gave the modern geometry was made very systematic Stephen the decimal system of coins weights and measures which means these are the discoveries that discoveries made in the field of medical science so these are the five different things i need to remember as the impact of renaissance first in the field of art people were free to use the colors that they wanted and express what they wanted painting the people why did they use the painting and what was its standard sculpture remember the names literature in, the, in italy and in england last one the science the contributions given by different people now moving on to last next topic that is the consequences now we will like we learn about the difference the impact of it now we will see what are the contributions or the consequences of renaissance renaissance what are the consequences what are the different consequences of a renaissance the first one it led to the reformation movement in europe reformation movement reformation movement in europe it means the people began to question observe and experiment things and they became critics of the church activities or the rituals and the church was divided into two catholics and protestants this is the first impact first consequence led to the led to the reformation reformation movement in europe second development of humanism we have already learned about humanism which means the renaissance renaissance broaden outlook of the people and people they got interest in man his interest nature and life in the world which means man became a so called a center of their attention as soon as the development of a scientific outlook scientific outlook and what is it mean scientific outlook means people began to accept things only if it appealed to their reason it means there was no blind faith anymore people began to reason out and accept the things and it encouraged invention and discoveries next one is the rise of monarchy form of government which means there was development of strong monarchical system of government due to the decline in the authority of the church and feudal system i hope you remember the feudal system that i have taught already so with the decline in the church authority and the feudal system there emerged a strong monarchical system of government next one is the development the fifth one is the development in the field of art that you have already learned new forms of painting sculptures music architecture that you have learned the developments that have happened the rest of is the rise of middle class rise of middle class it happened due to the decline of feudal lords the rise of traders soldiers lawyers who formed the so called middle class the rest of the rise and growth of nation states the rise of nation state which means feelings of nationality and national literature led to the rise and growth of different nations the last one the consequences of geographical explorations geographical explorations 
geographical explorations it means the discovery of sea the discovery of new sea route brought a trade between europe and the east it means with the discovery of new sea route there was a connection there was a trade between europe and the east because of this particular trade there was colonization of asia and african countries that led to the prosperity in europe these are the consequences that you need to remember with regard to the with regard to this particular renaissance so that's end of that particular chapter there are eight of them led to the reformation movement in europe humanism scientific outlook monarchical reform in the development of arts rise of middle class nation states and geographical explorations i hope it's clear for you so kindly go through the video once again and complete the notes so we have got two more chapters left that we will finish up in the coming classes so kindly go through the video once again understand the explanation and if there is any doubt please ask me i will clarify it thank you